today I am going to be showing you guys how I achieve this look using all drugstore products. Yes, you heard me right. All drugstore products. Unlike a lot of people in these type of videos that I've seen, they mix like high end with low end. I'm like, this is a drugstore makeup tutorial. Like, you can't use high end or LA Pro or banana powder. Like, you cannot find that at your drugstore. And some people want to be able to walk into their drugstore and grab every product that you use. Not have to wait till something gets ordered online. Like, no brainer. But yeah, you guys, I'm like so tired to the point that my voice is deeper. I don't know if it's because I'm tired or this choker, but for what, I just know I'm tired. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's get to it. So my face is already primed and moisturized. I use Cetaphil to moisturize my face. And, and I use Revlon Photo Ready Primer. And now I'm just gonna get my hair out of the way because it's like totally annoying. Um, I'm gonna use my crystal headband. And I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation and it's supposed to make you look good and flash photography or just in on cameras in general your phone camera and picture cameras and etc so yeah we're going to see if this stands up to the test so right here i am just dotting that foundation all over my face like so so yeah i'm going in with my sigma f80 brush this is like my holy grail buffering brush, Alani Make It Last Setting Spray. I like to wet it first just so that it's not dry and sucking up all of the product. And now you just want to buff it in. Buff it in, girl. Buff it in. So now I am just going in with my Fit Me Concealer and this is in the number 25. And I am using the dotted method under my eye. I also highlighted the bridge of my nose and I'm going to get the size of my nose that's called reverse contouring. So yeah, and then I'm going to hit up my chin and right under where I will be contouring and my cupid's bow. Using my Real Techniques sponge, which you can also find at the drugstore, I am going to blend, blend, blend to the guys, girl. When I started out, the sponge was damp, but as time went on, it got a little dry. So what I did was just spray it with my Milani Setting Spray. So you guys, don't worry about contouring. I'm going to do that later. So yeah, I'm just moving on to setting my, the areas I did not highlight, aka my foundation. And I am using my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. And then I'm going to proceed to bake my face using my CoverGirl Professionals Loose Powder. So I'm highlighting my under eye area as well as my forehead and the bridge of my nose. And we can't forget right under there where we will be contouring in my chin in my cupid's bow. Yeah. So you guys, I had to stand up to cut my camera back on. It just randomly cut off and I'm like, hey. But anyway, I'm going in on my eyelids with that fit me concealer we are going to just blend it out because we are getting ready to do our eyeshadow girl so going in with that same powder that I baked my face with I am going to go ahead and set my lids 
Yes, girl, we are not the neatest, so we are going to be using a little bit of scotch tape in the corner of our eyes. So we're going in with this lovely, lovely palette from Red and Wow, the All Natural. And I'm going in with that beige's color just to scope out my crease. And then I'm going to deepen it up with that darker brown shade. It's coming off as burgundy on camera. I don't know why, but it's like a darkish brown shade. And we're blending it back out just so everything transitions very well. And then I'm going in with my Jumbo NYX pencil in milk. And I'm just going to apply it at the bottom of my um, lid while I will be adding my pinkish color. It's kind of like a cut crease, but it isn't quite that. So, yeah. So, now for the fun part, we are going in with that pink champagne-ish color. And we're just going to apply that all over our lids. Yes, honey. Yes, like this color is popping. Like, yes, I'm in love. This color is the whole reason why I even bought this palette, to be honest. So, yeah, now we're blending it back out because, girl, we need it to transition well. And then we're going to take that smaller brush and we're going to take that beige color and we are going to highlight our brow bone. Oh, my God. So embarrassing. Why must I think? Like, oh, my gosh. Like, So now I am going in with my Wet n Wild Felt Tip Eyeliner and I'm just going to create a line as well as a wing. And you guys, this thing made it so easy. Like I have never created a wing eyeliner with so little trouble. Like oh my god, it was so easy. So I would definitely recommend that you invest in this. So I'm taking my Jordana liner and I am just applying it to my lower lid. Then I'm taking that darkest color and smudging everything out at the bottom. Then I'm taking my CoverGirl mascara and I am gonna add it to my top and bottom lashes. Yeah. So using my giant fluffy dough brush, I am just going to dust off that palette that has been baking on my face. And you guys, I must warn you, this powder is so hard to get off. Like, it just sticks. So, I had to keep going over and over it just to get it off. Like, it just didn't want to leave. So, going in with my angle brush from e.l.f., I am going to go in my CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer. And I'm going to go ahead and chisel out those sheets because, girl, like, all my food go to my face. Well, not all of it, but a lot of it. And, like, Lord, Jesus, fix it. So using this small crease brush, I'm going to go in with the ebony bronzer again and contour my nose just to deepen the reverse highlight. And going in with my Milani Bake Blush, I am going to softly blush my face. I don't want to do too much this time. And I am using my Wet n Wow Highlighter Powder and I am just highlighting everything that needs to be highlighted. And then I'm going in with my Wet n Wild lip liner as well as my Wet n Wild liquid Ketsu. Like, oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. But I must warn you, it gets really, really dry, so you do have to moisturize your lips. I'm going in with my Rimmel Glam Eyes liquid liner, and I'm just applying molds. Well, I already have molds. And then we're going to set it with our Milani spray. And this is the finished look. Stay tuned for the conclusion. Me, I'm just proud of the fact that you've done it your way And the weekend's here, started it right Even if you're only So you guys, this is the finished look I can't believe I achieved such an excellent look With just, just drugstore products like Come on, fleek So yeah, like I am highly impressed And I'm like so shocked myself But yeah, and, um most of the brushes I use was from the drugstore as well. I might link it down below depending on if I feel like it. Maybe not, but we'll see. So, I have a couple of giveaways coming up. So, if you do not want to miss that, subscribe to my channel. Who doesn't like free stuff or free cash? Like, come on now. <laughs> so, yeah, just subscribe to my channel. I have some amazing things going on here. So, so yeah. See you guys next time.